The Royal Ascot has always attracted exceptionally quirky headwear, but this year's selection is more flamboyant than ever. Today, as the highly anticipated event in Berkshire begins, racegoers have showed off some phenomenally creative hats, featuring huge flowers, butterfly wing-shaped structures and ornate 3D models. Fabrock sculptor Daniel Lismore turned heads with his eye-catching ensemble, that featured scarlet feather designs emerging from a Union Jack headpiece, further attached to a bejeweled scarf to create a knight-esque chainmail effect. Elsewhere, paying homage to the equestrian theme of the day, one attendee balanced a black and white horse atop her structure adding white flower designs for a stylish touch. One Mrs. Ines Hernandez leaned into the summery theme with a garden-inspired ensemble, bringing her colorful ensemble together with a theatrical butterfly-shaped headpiece. Other selections made fun use of colors, textures and shapes as arrivals showed off their unique sense of style. Glamorous racegoers also donned fascinators and towering heels for the start of Royal Ascot today. Many dodged the earlier wet weather as they put of their best colorful dresses and dapper morning suits to descend on the Berkshire race course. Some female racegoers took advantage of the relaxed dress code, by opting for suits and trousers, instead of the traditional dresses. While the formal dress code remains, in recent years organizers have encouraged visitors to be more experimental with their fashion. Racegoers can also opt to dress from either the male or female dress code, regardless of their gender. Dot Sara and Mike Tyndall were the first of the royal guests to arrive with King Charles' niece opting for a Leo Lynn Cecilia linen midi dress in green. The keen equestrian looked gorgeous in the 375 pounds number which she paired with heels and a fascinator, while ex-rugby pro husband Mike picked a traditional morning suit. Elsewhere Yuna Healy led the glamour in a crisp white summer dress while tapping into the Barbie Acor trend with baby pink court shoe heels and feathered hat, which came with a nod to racing superstar Frankie Dettori. The former Saturday's star opted for the green and pink statement headpiece, commissioned by bookmakers Lad Brokes, to celebrate the jockey's final royal meeting. Meanwhile TV presenter Charlotte Hawkins was hoping green was her lucky color as she opted for a emerald and white outfit for the meet, with a Camilla Rose hat. Royal Ascot, the jewel in the crown of the UK racing calendar, starts today with the Queen Anne Stakes and will run until Saturday. Dot around 300,000 people are set to attend the prestigious event, some of them royalty and world-famous celebrities. Dot the day is as much a social occasion as a sporting event and racegoers take the opportunity to turn on the style, from chic hats and summer dresses to sharp suits. It's the first year the event, a favorite of the late Queen, will go ahead since her death in September.
In recent years Her Majesty marked the festivities with a royal carriage procession, while the tradition will continue this year, King Charles is yet to confirm if he will be leading it. However, Charles lead the procession last year, with the Queen watching it from home due to mobility issues. In honor of the late monarch, the Platinum Jubilee Stakes, a six furlong sprint which is staged on the Saturday of Ascot's five day meeting, will from now on be known as the Queen Elizabeth II Jubilee Stakes. Chairman of Ascot Sir Francis Brooke B.D. said, The late Queen's close association with Ascot Race Course was well known throughout the world but no race at the royal meeting previously carried the name of Queen Elizabeth II. His Majesty the King has approved the renaming of the Platinum Jubilee Stakes to the Queen Elizabeth II Jubilee Stakes. This will both honor Her Late Majesty in perpetuity and maintain the connection with the three jubilees celebrated since the inception of the race as the Golden Jubilee Stakes in 2002. Dot however, racegoers will notice a subtle change in their cream and gold seven pounds programs. Following the coronation of King Charles, the race cards now carry a new cipher, replacing the late Queen's official royal emblem with a joint one to reflect both the King and Queen. On social media, Royal Ascot shared a photograph of the new look, writing, We are delighted to unveil the race card cover for the opening day of Royal Ascot 2023 the first displaying the joint cipher of their majesties the king and queen. Both the king and queen have individual ciphers. The joint cipher is more similar in design to Queen Camilla's own emblem but adds an additional swirling C to represent the king. The Queen Consort's official cipher is a swirling C R monogram under a crown. The entwined letters stand for Camilla Regina, Latin for Queen. Like Charles' cipher, Camilla's design is based on the Tudor crown but is more elaborate and stylized. It is the first time in 70 years that the country's most famous horse racing event will carry a new cipher. Dot the Queen, who passed away in Balmoral Castle last September, had a lifelong association with Royal Ascot, developing a love and passion for horse racing throughout her 70-year reign. And the event has paid tribute via renaming a race in the late Queen's honor. The Platinum Jubilee Stakes, a six furlong sprint which is staged on the Saturday of Ascot's five day meeting, will from now on be known as the Queen Elizabeth II Jubilee Stakes. Queen Elizabeth II had 24 winners in total, having been a keen race horse owner with her final triumph coming by way of tactical in the Windsor Castle Stakes three years ago. Dot Choir Boy raced home as her first ever winner during the 1953 Royal Hunt Cup, which occurred during the same week of Her Late Majesty's coronation at Westminster Abbey.